Hey, how are we doing? It's Ben from Eco Networks and Security. So today we're going to be comparing two Hikvision's AccuSense cameras against each other. It's four versus eight. Is a higher resolution camera going to be better? Is the additional cost worth that extra investment? Well, we're going to find out. So the part numbers of each camera are going to be listed here. So let's get into this. So both cameras are mostly made out of metal with an IP67 rating and has a built-in IR illuminator with a range of 30 meters for environments that have little to no ambient light. They both have flashing strobe lights and that audible warning feature and can hold 256 gigs of uh, local storage via a micro SD card. So the great thing about this, you have to forward directly to the camera instead of the NVR. There are also 2.8, 4 mil and 6 mil versions of these cameras available. Now let's compare some specs. So the 4 megapixel has a one 1.3 inch CMOS sensor with a wide dynamic range of 120 decibels and an aperture of 1.4. Compared to the 8 megapixel which has a one 1.8 inch sensor with a wide dynamic range of 120 decibels and an aperture of 1.6. Now let's see how Dory specs compare. So according to the specs for the 2.8mm version in the 4 megapixel, it's able to take that 60 meters, observe at 23.8, recognize at 12 and identify at 6. The 8 megapixel uh, is able to detect at 89, observe at 35, recognize at 17 and identify at 9. So before we compare the performance of these cameras, if you're new to this channel and like what you see here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Any other questions or comments, don't be afraid to hit us up in that comment section below. Now, enough of this talking, let's go see how these cameras perform both day and night. So first up, we'll start with the uh, 8 megapixel. Um, so you can see from this image, it's really clear and sharp. Um, it's a very nice picture. This is the 4 megapixel. So once again, great picture. The colors are, are great, like everything. It shows it's a really nice picture for a 4 megapixel camera. So what we'll do now is we'll do a side-by-side uh, comparison and you can see the difference between the two um, color wise they're pretty much identical to be honest with you and then if you look at sharpness wise the eight is just that touch sharper but overall uh, when you compare these these cameras side by side they're actually very similar um, apart from the sharpness of the eight megapixel so what we'll now do is we'll do a bit of a walk test and if we freeze it there, uh, you can see the difference between the two. There's hardly that much of a difference. The eight megapixels probably got a slightly wider field of view, but apart from that, uh, and a little bit of sharpness, it's pretty much identical. On this next test, we'll do a close up walk test. And if we freeze it there, uh, once again, you can see everything is very, very similar. Um, but eight megapixel, you just see that definition. You see a bit more definition in the genes and lines, just a bit more clarity around uh, the edges and stuff. But it's pretty hard to to uh, distinguish between the two if you didn't have them side by side. We'll just zoom in off the left here. Uh, you can see there that actually it's pretty close uh, as far as a comparison and makeup and letter lettering there. And then we'll zoom over to the middle here. Uh, this is where we might start to see the difference between an 8 megapixel. Um, you can see the 8 megapixel, you can clearly make out the letters uh, of that number plate compared to the 4 megapixel, uh, where it's a little bit blurred, but you can still make it out. This is where 8 megapixel is going to come into play. And we'll just zoom in over on the right here. And yeah, pretty much same thing as what we saw on the left with the other car. And just to go into the tree line, which is about 30 meters away, um, you just see that the that the eight megapixel just has that little bit more sharpness. Um, but at that particular distance, I don't think you're going to be able to make anything out at that that particular uh, distance away. Now we'll do the night time. So we'll start off with the eight megapixel. You can see here it's a very clear, uh, crisp image. Very little noise uh, in this image. And then we'll jump over to the four. Uh, you can see just a little bit more noise is coming into the image, but overall, actually it's very, very similar. And we'll do a side by side. Um, and in saying that, you can just see, actually noise wise, they're actually very comparable. Um, but then when we look at the eight megapixel, you see a little, just that touch sharper uh, in the image itself. We'll just come up and do our walk test. You see there, you won't be able to make out any identifying features at that particular 
distance, which is probably about eight to eight to nine meters, maybe ten meters away. Um, and then you'll see that motion blur is pretty much identical for for both of them there. We'll do a close up walk test next. You can see there the smart II kick in. Um, but you know, overall, pretty much identical here. Um, you're not really going to make out any more identifying features uh, with the eight megapixel. So you know, it's it's pretty pretty close here. Uh, I'll just have a look here on the left with the cars. Uh, once again, IR is reflecting off. You're not going to see anything. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll zoom into the middle. Not going to be make out anything at that distance either. And then we'll zoom over to the right. Uh, once again, you're not going to make anything out. And then we'll have a look here at the, uh, have a look at the tree line. And once again, you won't see anything. But if I just come back to uh, a side by side shot comparison, um, you can see the difference between the two, like the eight megapixels just got, because of the, that, the, the sensor, it's just got a little bit more um, brightness to it, a little bit more clarity in the image compared to the four megapixel. But apart from that, you know, we're picking out hairs here between the two. Um, and then we'll, you can kind of make up your mind which one you think's the better, the better camera from there. Now, what's my thoughts on these cameras? Well, the performance of both cameras is almost identical for, for both day and night situations with the 8 megapixel providing a tad more clarity and sharpness to its image. As you can see when zooming into the image, especially in the number plate, you get that extra clarity. But overall, both of these cameras produce excellent pictures in day and night. The 8 megapixel the larger sensor does allow more light into the picture and gives you a little bit more detail. But considering almost there is no differences between these two cameras, is the 8 megapixel worth the extra dollars? Well, we're gonna let you decide. So let us know in the comment section below what you think. On that note, that's it for this video. If you haven't found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit us up in that comment section for any questions you may have. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.